What you watching? Nothing. What? Because that's what's on. On every channel? 52 channels of nothing? All nothing? All the time? It's taking over the TV! Ah! Ah! It's taking over everything! Stop it, Bradley! Nothing can stop it! There will be nothing left! Oh, man! Looks like it's all over! Don't say it, Bradley. <laughs> oh, Mom, we might miss something. The only thing you're missing is a life. That's enough TV for today. Read any good books lately? Oh, yeah, right. It's summer, remember? Hey, I know. Why don't we write a book? <laughs> okay, okay. I got one. The story of the tortilla and the hare. Once there was this rabbit who had a lot of hair. But no! And a tortilla with nothing on it. It's the tortoise and the hare, Bradley, not tortilla. Not a tortilla, huh? Afraid not. Ah! Uh, it is now. But no! But no, but no, but Nokio! What? And now the story of But Nokio. A little girl who lived in a little apartment, and every time she told a lie, her butt grew bigger and bigger. I don't tell lies, Bradley. <laughs> See what I mean? And the little girl's friend, Bradley Buttnokio, who left a love note in Ashley's locker yesterday. Did not? Well, I wonder who took my dessert at lunch today. Not me. What'd you get on your spelling test, Bradley? A hundred. <laughs> What are you two doing? Nothing. Well then, since you two have nothing to do, why don't you run down to Mr. Quickie? Five dollars? It's not allowance day. It's for muffin mix for the bake sale today, and only muffin mix, okay? We won't let you down, Mom. What are you doing, Bradley? What's it look like? Walking backwards. This way, when we get to the store, I won't have to waste all that time turning around to go home. I'm so sure. Oh no! Watch where you're going! Look out for that runaway baby stroller! Now I'm so sure. Warned ya. Stace! Behind you! It's Megamind! Oh, as if. Hey, how come your butt didn't do it that time? No, look! Now playing Attack of the Megamind. It's finally playing at a theater near us. Filmed entirely in Horco Vision and presented in senseless sound. Oh, man! We won't even be able to hear ourselves hurl. Oh. Oh. Gotta, Gotta see it. With what? We're broke, as usual. What are you talking about? We've got five whole dollars right in here. No way, Bradley. That's my mom's muffin money. Oh, man. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Bradley. Hi, Polly. Melody? You guys can see Megamind? Um, I hear it's got absolutely no redeeming social value. It's completely devoid of plot, character, or pathos. And the explosions are really cool! Looks like we're the only ones in the whole world who aren't going in. We gotta see it. If we don't, we'll be castaways. You mean outcasts. Whatever. Everybody's going to be talking about the attack of the Megamont. Except us. I've got it. My dad just bought a ton of muffin mix at the Stuff Club. So instead of wasting the five bucks at Mr. Quickie's, we take the empty box from your mom's place, we fill it from the Stuff Club box. Won't your dad notice? Oh, as if. Bradley! And now we've got the dough to see the show. But what would my mom say? You think she'd want you to be a castaway for the rest of your life? Let's do it. Two, Two please. please. I don't think so. What do you mean? Was. What's the extra dollar for? For my college fund. You squirts going in or what? Castaways are us. Not necessarily. Huh? We simply stick to the tried and true formulas. The old two kids under one big overcoat disguise works every time. Oh, yeah, right. That only works in cartoons, Bradley. 
What's, What's that, that funky, funky smell? What? Out of the way, Scradley. I'm suffocating in here. Hey, they're stealing my idea. And it was your only one. One for Megamind? Seven bucks for adults. What? Here, I can't take it anymore. So much for your big idea. I suppose you've got a better one? Naturally. <laughs> We're on a mission. Oh, boy. It's already ripped. Of course it is. I was inside already with my grandpa, remember? No. But he got hot dog poisoning. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Later in the ambulance, he looked up and said, No, no, I'll be all right. You go back in there and see the attack of the Mega Mind. Are you sure, Gramps? I'm sure, I'm sure. Just get your big butt off of me. I love you, Gramps. And so... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Go in or go home. Bradley, I can't see. You're not the only one. Don't in front, please. Holy mackerel! How's a person supposed to see the movie? Hey, 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 kids. Before we blast off, remember to top up your tank at the snack bar with one of our gooey chewies. You guys, show some courtesy, will ya? This is the bad part! Stacy, will you just sit down? The show's starting already. I'm trying, I'm trying. For my hideous powers! Make a mind no more! <laughs> Make a mind no more! Make a mind no your secrets! Make a mind no what you did! Make a mind will destroy you! A job for the amazing rubber guns. Whoa! I've seen 3D before, but this is totally out of control. Mega Mind has no fear of you, Earth, superheroes. Real mature, Mega Mind. Ha! Mega Mind can only be defeated by. By... By me, Stacy, super good person. Mega Mind doesn't think so. Mega Mind knows you stole your mom's muffin money. No, I didn't. Mega Mind knows you snuck in without paying. No, I didn't. Nah, 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 nah. Lie, you lie, you tight some fire. No! Your lips say, but no. But your butt says, yes, you did. There is no escape from Mega Mind. But no! Bradley, what will I do? What will I do? Ha 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 ha! We gotta tell the truth, Stace. It's the only way out of this mess. <laughs> all right, all right. We used the muffin money to get into the movie. Only it wasn't enough, so I snuck in without paying. And that's the whole truth. Phew. 
Well, young lady, I certainly don't approve of what you did. But I am glad you told me the truth. So are we, yeah. Man, it's a real load off our minds. And other things. Tomorrow, we're going to go back to the theater so that you two can apologize and pay for your tickets. But right now, you can help me with the baking. I thought you were out of muffin mix, Mom. Well, you two were taking so long, I decided to borrow some from Bradley's father. Hmm. Now, why didn't I think of that? Bradley! Nothing. I'm so hot I can burn up the sun. As if. You can't burn up the sun. Why not? Because it's the hottest thing. After me. There's only one thing to do at a time like this. The, the swimming, swimming pool. pool! Last one in to Krusty Booger! I know you are, but what am I? idea, Edison. Well, let's hear yours then. There it is now. The movies. They've got air conditioning. Ah. See, Stace? We're the coolest. How true. Let us acquire a cool drink, shall we? Capital. I say, my good teenager, two mega Mr. Fizzies, tall and frosty, with lots of ice, Man, these heels are killing me! Whoa! Ah! Oh. Oh. Don't just sit there, old gal. Pay the lad. Bit of a sticky wicket, what? Ah, get out of here! <laughs> no money, no dust. I feel a breeze. Wait a minute. That's no breeze. That's... Hi, guys! Hi, Dill. Holy mackerel! Is it hot out or what? Good thing I finally got my cooler cap working. Still haven't got the backwash problem solved, though. Guess I shouldn't have ate that bag of cheese poopers, huh? I think I'm gonna ralph. What's the matter, boys? Hot, broke, bored. The, the usual. usual. Well, you guys are in luck. Just follow me. How much farther is it? I'm cooking. Here. You gotta keep from getting dehydration, you know. Pass. Suit yourself. We're already here. Huh? huh? The library? What's the big idea? They've got lots of big ideas in here. Hundreds and hundreds of them. This is where they keep all the big ideas in the whole entire world. I'm out of here. Hey, Scradley. Uh-oh. Nice weather for a pounding. Yeah, nice weather. I like how the heat makes you nice and soft, like putty. Let's go read some books. Hey, Scrabble and his little pals went into that big building. Yeah, the li 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 What li are you doing? Reading. Well, quit it. What? Library. Cool. Thought you were allergic to all these books, Bradley. Duh, not cool, 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 cold. You know, air conditioning. Real mature, Bradley. You guys! <laughs> What's with him? Are you okay, Dill? Not supposed to talk in there, okay? You gotta be really, really quiet. It ain't gonna be easy, you know. Yeah, 
Yeah. No duh, Dill. Nice hat, dweeb. Hey! My cool new cap! Run for it! You're doomed, Scradley. Mmm. <sighs> Cheese poopers. Oh! Ugh! Oh! Ugh! What? All right, the mystery section. I love Stacy Drew Mysteries. Yawn. Check out the Hardly Boys. Not. Stacy Drew could out detective the dumb Hardly Boys any day. Oh, as if. Right, Dill? Okay, let's see who's first to solve the mystery of. Ew! The Hardly Boys and the mystery of. The Mutant Gym Sock. Not. Try. Stacy Drew and the secret of our pit code. Boring. Besides, we've already cracked the case. It looked like the mutant gym sock was gonna get the Hardly Boys in a toehold. Let's roll, Dill. Ah! What could it be, she wondered as she held her breath. Old garbage, rotting fish, someone cooking liver and onions? What? It's gaining on us! It hardly matters, boys. I've solved the mystery of the funky smell. Oh, man, we should have known. Hey, Scraggly! Read this! Yeah! Holy mackerel! That's no way to treat a book, Lance! Ah! Run for it! Wherever you are, Scraggly, you're history! Yeah, history! What are you, Russell? I was just saying we're in the history section. See? The history of aviation. Cool. Fighter jets. Amelia Earhart is way cooler. She was so brave. I'm so sure. She'd have been grounded if it weren't for the Wright brothers. Right, Brother Dill? <laughs> Where am I? A 747 for your big bad information. First flown in 1970, powered by four turbofan engines and capable of speeds up to... <laughs> We'd better pull over. Dill looks like he's gonna be air sick. No problem, Stace. I'll set a course for the science <laughs> Mars? Jupiter? Just pull over, will ya? Dill's gonna explode! What's wrong with Saturn? Sorry, I'm looking for... Don't say it. Uranus! Luckily, in space, no one can hear you scream. Holy mackerel! exactly the sort of kicking I was worrying about. Well, look at that. It's pounding time. Wrong, Lance. See, the big hand is on the two, which means it's time to run for it! Whoa! Where are we? <sighs> the romance section. Oh! Yeah, kiss her. Oh! You're scaring me, dude. Oh, man. The kitty section. What if somebody sees us? <laughs> Especially them. See, Scradley, run. Run, Scradley, run. Spy stories. Now this is more like it. Hop in, you guys. 
I don't know about this, Bradley. <laughs> no problem, Dill. Double O, Bradley. License to drive. You better start looking for the first aid book, Scrappy. Get him! Step on it, man! I'm stepping. Holy mackerel! Are they gaining on us or what? Hang on! Turn, turn! What? Where? That's double O, Bradley. Duh. I mean, uh-oh. Double O. Roadblock. <laughs> We're doomed. What'll we do? Duh. <laughs> you got a song in library cards, you guys. Put them on my cards, please. All right. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. No way, Bradley. I'm reading it first. Relax, you guys. There's plenty more where these came from, you know. Come on, let's get those dweebs. Shh. Yeah. Shh. The end. <laughs> <laughs>